एट पॉइंट फोर परसेंट इंक्रीज इन प्राइसिस वाओ दैट्स वाओ स्टे ट्यून टू नो वॉट आई मैन बाय दैट गुड डे ट्रोनो आई एम आशीष शर्मा योर रियल्टर विद राइट एट होम रियल्टी ब्रोकरेज इन टूडेज वीडियो वी गन डिस्कस हाउ द सिटी ऑफ ट्रोनो मार्केट इज डूइंग इन दिस टर्बुलेंस पीरियड ऑफ हाउसिंग लेट्स अनलॉक रियल स्टेट एंड रिमेंबर in the end of the video i'm going to share some key points related to the month of inventory and the days on market if you are currently planning to buy sell and invest you need to know these points and those are important so stay tuned till the end of the video and please follow share uh, the video so that more and more people can see what i am uh, referring to and what i am talking about let's unlock real estate so let's start with the average price so uh, in the month of february 2023 the city of toronto average price is sitting around 1 million and 71 thousand ish something like that and there is a drop of uh, 11.5% year over year and a increase of 8.4% month over month yes in a month prices went up 8.4% and if we talk about the 12 months trailing average right now city of toronto is sitting around 1.1 million dollars yes that's these data uh, 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 these data is only for city of toronto and if you want to know about other markets please follow me subscribe to my channel so that you can get to know whenever i will post the uh, uh, videos about other areas and if you want to know ahead of the game just reach out to me on the number provided and i'll be happy to assist you and answer all your question and so the uh, let's talk about the number of sales so number of sales uh, are currently 1745 transaction happened in the month of february of 2023 and so one thing a couple of points we noticed over here like december and january was the slowest month uh, in city of toronto if we compare 2022 numbers and 2023 number yes and uh, Uh, so for sure bank of canada uh, uh, interest rate hikes did the job to decrease the sale and decrease the price and but as per january they said they're going to pause it so that news spiked the number up like the sales literally went up right away in february when they said in january that they might uh, might not increase any uh, any further uh, uh, rate hikes right but let's talk about how it performed in the uh, number of sales so 46.1% decline year over year and 57.5% month over month increase yes right as i said december and january was the lowest number of sale if we compare 2022 and till now of 2023 so as you can see 60 around 60% transactions have been increased in a month period let's dig deep and see what how the individual property types are doing let's start with freehold then we'll jump on condo so freehold properties so detached properties averaging around 1.71 million 482 transaction happened in the month of february semi detached 1.28 link 1.12 only two properties exchange hand freehold townhouse is 1.33 million 57 properties exchange hand let's talk about how the condo market is performing so the condo market condo townhouses are averaging around 0.83 million and 104 transaction happened for condo townhouses and let's talk about condo apartments as city of toronto downtown has lot of condo buildings and obviously in other area of toronto as well there are lot of condo buildings so condo apartments transactions always account for like a uh, bigger amount uh, as compared to the other property types and as you can see more than 50% of the transaction are condo transaction 952 transaction happened uh, in the month of uh, february for condo apartment and averaging around 0.73 million let's jump on the month of inventory and stay tuned as i said there are a couple of key points which i want to tell you so the month of inventory for the month of february currently sitting and uh, remember we calculate this uh, inventory numbers based on monthly not on trailing average of 12 months prep provide data as of 12 months we calculate based on monthly so that you stay informed up to date what is happening right now right so month of inventory is currently sitting around 2.4 months and if we talk about average days on market it is currently at 24 days so so guys these are the numbers these uh, you got everything whatever you need to know but couple of things which i want to highlight as i uh, already told you about the number of sales right now let's talk about the month, month of inventory and average days on market key points so i dig deep the numbers and i saw that 
in the month last month as these these numbers are reported month of february right but when i compare these number with january january number month of inventory was at 3.5 months and days on market was at 31 days so technically and those both were the highest when comparing the data for 12 months highest yes like if i compare the data for last 12 months this january was sitting at the highest but and right now this if we talk about just month of inventory this month of inventory has dropped to pre june level yes guys pre june level so june of 2022 the month of inventory was around 2.6 and may of 2022 the month of inventory was at 2.2 now you ask me like why i am telling you this thing so month of inventory plays a huge role so technically not many active listings are there in the market right now technically so there could be a possibility that not many seller want to sell it or there could be a possibility that lot of sales are happening as compared to the whatever properties are in the market right because the month of inventory got calculated based on active listings divided by number of sales so in this market for sure where the turbulence is so high like the increase is in a month is like 9% roughly and uh, decrease year over year is 11% so you can see the what i am trying to tell you right proper strategy needs to be there for sure you can like have a good uh, uh, you can fetch a good property if you plan it strategically and uh, uh, have a good strategy reach out to me i'll be happy to help you to have a strategy call with you on the number provided and uh, in the link description you will find my link as well if you want to schedule a call reach out to me if you are looking uh, for some data for some other regions or other area of greater toronto area i'll be happy to provide you and as i always say keep on hustling keep on learning keep on growing until next time have a good one